right, fans, to help celebrate his recent 70th birthday, we ask that you please join Mo Egger and Seg Dennison in singing happy birthday. All right, are you ready? Reds fans, four and a half up on that team over there. A one, a two, a three. A two, a three. Fans, some of the gifts that Marty will be collecting as part of tonight's game are being featured on the field at this time. That includes a Procter & Gamble gift basket, courtesy of Head & Shoulders and Braun. He will also be receiving a certified 1942 Walking Liberty coin. That's the year in which Marty was born, and that is thanks to J.S. Golden Coin. fans it's now time for the main event if you will direct your attention to the video board earlier today marty started preparing for tonight's haircut by getting a special wash and style from the professionals at head and shoulders now since marty knew that he wouldn't have his golden locks very much longer the head and shoulders wash and style was a perfect way to get through one last game with finely groomed hair all right now that he has gotten that one last wash and style out of the way it's time for us to send it down to the field to Fox Sports Ohio broadcaster Jim Day, who will MC tonight's proceedings. What's up, Great American Ballpark? My pleasure to be MCing the Marty Party. All right, here's the story if you don't know. Earlier on in the season, Reds had won like five straight games. They were getting on a plane to go to another city. Marty and bench coach Chris Spire were talking and basically Marty questioning whether this team could win 10 straight. It was back when they weren't, you know, didn't have as much offense, et cetera. And he asked, you know, Chris Spire asked him, what would happen if we won 10 straight? He said, would you shave your hair? Marty said, yes, indeed, he would shave his hair. He's a man of his word and he's gonna do it tonight. But with one exception, he was gonna do it privately or publicly. He said if the public and the corporate sponsorship here in Cincinnati, if you could raise $20,000 by Friday, he would do it at home plate. Guess what? You came through! Now before I give you the grand tally, let's talk about the, uh, the corporate sponsors of this event. $5,000 each of whom represented on the field tonight. The Clyde N. Day Foundation, $5,000 to the Reds Community Fund. Cincinnati Bell, $5,000 to the Reds Community Fund. Toyota, five grand to the Reds Community Fund. Champion window, sunroom, and home exteriors, $5,000. And Procter & Gamble's top grooming brands, brawn and head and shoulders. Now there's also a check that represents you fans. You fans alone came up with $20,000 plus. And to show you how much you guys love the Cincinnati Reds in less than a week. What was it, two days, two and a half days, three days? The grand total, 
$50,000 for the Red Community Fund. Thank you. Now that is something, $50,000. Now think about it, folks. The landmarks in Cincinnati, you got the suspension bridge, you've got Fountain Square, you've got the Museum Center, and you got Marty's hair. If there was a Mount Rushmore in Cincinnati, this dew would be on it. We want to get some final words. As you told me earlier today, and I want to get this quote right, no one has had a more passionate love affair with their hair than me. As Paul Doherty wrote in the Cincinnati Inquirer, we have seen the evolution of his hair from the semi-monkey's look of the mid-70s to the quasi-pompadour of the Marge years to the tightly scripted helmet of today. Marty's hair has been part of our lives. It's practically family. Well, we're going to lose a family member tonight. Any last words? Well, a couple of things, Jim. I'm so thrilled that we were able to turn this into a fundraiser, and I cannot express how deeply I feel about the contribution figure that we reached tonight in $50,000. Not only for the Reds Community Fund, the outreach program that benefits so many young kids in the inner city, but I'm also thrilled to death that uh, the Joe Nuxall Character Foundation will benefit from this night also. Kim Nuxall and his wife Bonnie here. And it just, it's a double barrel thrill for me that both of these organizations, these foundations that do such great work, are going to benefit financially from this night at the expense of my going ball, for God's sake. <laughs> All right. You know who earned this, though? Marty's the brave guy doing this. But the players had to win 10 straight. How about giving it up for your first place, Cincinnati Reds? Now, Marty talked about the Joe Nuxall Character Education Fund. It's important to note that the hair is going to be collected, and it's going to be driven away in that Toyota Tundra right down there. We're going, we've gone all out. We have to have a secret escort for your hair. It's that big. And of course, as he said, represented on the field by Joe's son, Kim Nuxall, and they will do some good with Marty's hair, auctioning it off for charity. And I know somewhere, he used to call you the poofy-haired fancy boy, somewhere Joe Nuxall's looking down, having a chuckle right now. He'd like to have the first shot at it, believe me. All right, without further ado, Marty's man is Jeff Duckwall. He's been cutting your hair for how long? 23 years. 23 years. Jeff, you got any nervous hands going on? No. No, he's I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I've been waiting 23 years for this. He's been waiting 23 years for this. All right, but before we do it, we got to hear from you. Marty, Marty, come on with it. Marty, Marty. All right, I don't think that's loud enough. How about just some cheers? Come on, Reds fans, get up for it. Let's go. Let the proceedings begin. Marty has not been bald since he was born. And the first cut is made. I can't resist, I have to before it's gone. Very nice. We're starting on the back here. We got the Clippers going. Right now he looks as if he's going to boot camp in the morning. I'm fine. He's <laughs> fine. How's it feel? Oh, it just feels peachy. <laughs> No more helmet hat. Now what's going to happen? We all know you love to golf. Yeah. And uh, you got a very nice tan, at least where the hair isn't. So you're going to have a big half a white head. Well, you know, we're going to play golf in Milwaukee on Monday, so I'll start to work on getting the head tan then. 
Many have asked, has Marty Brenneman ever wore a baseball cap? I've seen it. It's happened before. How much younger? All right. He just took 10 years off of his life. The now 60-year-old Marty Brenneman. More? More? Get rid of it! I ain't got the dance floor. That's not gonna do it. I need to hear it! Did you see it? Okay. <laughs> I asked what the special things were in Marty Burnham's life. His kids, his wife, his health, and his hair. We are going really tight on the back. Looks good. I'm going to do mine. Is there any regret right now? No, there's no regret at all. I made a statement. I was never any doubt I was going to go through with it. The only, the only fear I have is that it doesn't grow back. <laughs> what if it grows back brown? Is there any chance of that? Yeah, there's a chance it'll grow, go back, grow back brown and maybe thicker, and I'll look 40 instead of 70. That's a all right, now do you have to use a razor to get it all the way down? Because everyone knows my hair hasn't moved in 15 years. This is actually getting it, getting it down there. Oh, now he's going to have to get a tan on his head. Yeah, we talked about having to get the tan on the head. Poopy hair. There goes the poopy hair. No more poopy haired fancy boy. He's just a fancy boy. Now we were all wondering what the shape of your head would be. Let me get a look at this. In the immortal words of a Hall of Fame broadcaster, how we looking? Not good. <laughs> how we looking? Real good. <laughs> Leave it just like that. Anyone want to donate 50,000 themselves to leave it just like that? Down and dirty now. Perfect. By the way, Cowboy. I love, I love it. I did. The lovely wife Amanda Brenneman right here. Taking pictures. <laughs> As we finish up, how about a Marty Chan? Come on, give it up for the Hall of Fame. seen this in a long time. As you tell me, the sun is free. <laughs> For the first time in my career, I'm speechless. Usually can't shut me up. 
Let's not all let all this hair go to waste, though. No, no, no. You want to hold up some of this? This will make for a great picture. <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable. With you. I'm surprised your head doesn't look that bad. <laughs> this is rated G programming. And really, you don't really have much of an oblong head or anything. Are we done? Are we done? A man of his word, Marty Brennaman! I have never had more of a pleasure in my life than to be the first one to do this. Again? How are we doing? How are we doing? No, I love Folks, you once so again, much. you've been awesome. Thank you for everyone that contributed, but we're not done yet because Marty Brennaman has the last words of the night. Well, in closing, you see these youngsters here with me tonight, and we all, we have, we have T-shirts on. Mine says, I'm still me. This beauty here has made you look. And these T-shirts are all a part of a group out of Mason, Ohio, known as the Dragonfly Foundation, that are working in conjunction with the Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center for kids who have cancer or our blood disease. And they're trying to raise the awareness of youngsters who have lost their hair. They're doing wonderful, wonderful work. These three beauties right here are indescribable. My friend John Burns was over at Children's Hospital the other day, and a young lady said to him, a patient, on Friday night, Marty Brennan will look like us. And I can't begin to tell you how much it touched my heart and how thrilled I am to be a part of your club. Thank God for all of you. Thank God. Are we ready for some fireworks? Are we ready for some fireworks? Put it on me, Luke. Come on. There you go. My grandson, Luke. Enjoy the fireworks, and thank you very much for a very special birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jeff. Best part of that whole thing was there at the end. The Dragonfly Foundation, I'm Still Me. Maybe not a better club to be in for Marty Brenneman. Certainly not even the Hall of Fame. Well, the Reds are winners tonight, three to nothing. And when we come back to Great American Ballpark, we'll show you all the highlights. We'll go inside. We'll talk to Dusty Baker and the players and more. Reds winners, three nothing. They lead the Central by four and a half.